Sam is 25 years old. He is in the continuing education class. Sam has been a student at Madonna Learning Center for eight years. Our intro into clay started with hand building. This is my absolute favorite class. The students make extra small plate, then make it again, but press it on their elbow. This makes an elbow bowl. Then repeat steps one and two again. We pinch the clay and they have created a beautiful heart bowl. Don't you just love all three pieces? This particular piece of pottery was made on a slump mold. The clay is rolled out and then formed over the mold. Just beautiful. While working on our first two projects, Ashley was pulling students to get them familiar with the pottery wheel for our field trip to Bell Tower Artesians. Each student made three pieces while there. They loved it. When we returned from our outing, we made plates from what we had learned at Bell Tower Artesians. Lovely. While pulling students to make their pottery plates, the class was making their mark. This artwork was directly inspired by the book, The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. The board is collaged with newspaper and painted with acrylic paint. For these mosaics, each student selected their image. They were guided by volunteers to stay within boundaries to create these beautiful mosaics. They were a pretty challenging piece. So it was decided that everyone selecting their own picture was a little overzealous. I selected a seascape because we were all getting spring fever and ready for spring break. This is a 10 by 10 acrylic painting on a texturized canvas. We painted as a class step by step. Well done. Introducing Amy. Amy is 31 years old. She's in the continuing education class at Madonna Learning Center. Amy has been at MLC for 25 years. I love this class. Amy made an extra small plate, then made an extra small plate that was then placed on her elbow to make giggles and an adorable elbow bowl. Then again, with the final step, pinched to form a heart bowl. This small square bowl was made by Amy on a slump mold. While working on our first two projects, Ashley was pulling students to get them familiar with the pottery wheel for our field trip to Bell Tower Artesians. Each student made three pieces while there. They loved it. When we returned from our field trip, we put our knowledge to the test by making plates on the pottery wheel. Amy made her mark. This artwork of circles and dots on collaged newsprint was directly inspired by The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Amy chose a butterfly image for her mosaic. She was guided by our delightful volunteers to stay within boundaries. They were a pretty difficult piece. So everyone having a different image was a bit overwhelming. I selected a seascape because everyone was having spring fever. This is a 10 by 10 inch texturized canvas done in acrylic paint. Great job. Eason is 24 years old. She is in the work-based learning class at Madonna Learning Center. She has been at MLC for 16 years. My intro to hand building with clay is my favorite class. Each piece builds on the next. Eason made an extra small plate then made a plate again, putting it on her elbow to make it an elbow bowl. Then steps one and two again, pinching it into a beautiful heart bowl. Isu made a small square bowl on a slump mold. She rolled out the clay and then formed it to this mold. While working on our first two projects, Ashley was pulling students to the pottery wheel to get them prepared for our Bell Tower Artesian field trip. They loved it. We took what we learned from our field trip and made plates. Eason made her mark by placing circles and dots on a newsprint collage surface. This artwork was directly inspired by the book, The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Each student picked their own image. Volunteers helped us stay within linear boundaries. It was a very hard project. Everyone had spring fever, so we decided to head to the beach in art class. 
This is a seascape on a texturized 10 by 10 inch canvas done in acrylic paint. Good job, Eason. Kenan is 17 years old. She is in the senior high program at Madonna Learning Center. She's been a student at MLC for 13 years. McKinnon made an extra small plate, then another extra small plate, but pressed it on her elbow to make an elbow bowl. Then made another elbow bowl, pinching it into a heart bowl. Lovely. For this particular piece, the students used a slump mold. The clay is rolled out and then formed over the slump mold to make this nice square bowl. McKinnon made two pottery plates on the wheel. McKinnon made her mark with circles and dots on collage newsprint. This piece was a direct inspiration from The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Each student picked their own image. Volunteers helped us stay within linear boundaries. It was a tough project. With spring fever rising, we headed to the beach. This is a seascape done on a 10 by 10 inch texturized canvas done in acrylic paint. Brittany is 26 years old. She is in the continuing education program at Madonna Learning Center. She has been at MLC for 20 years. Brittany made an extra small plate, then an elbow bowl, and then a heart bowl. Excellent. This square bowl was formed on a wooden slump mold. The clay is rolled out and then draped over the mold. While working on the first two projects, Ashley introduced Brittany to the pottery wheel to prepare her for our outing to Bell Tower Artisans. These are Brittany's two pottery plates. Beautiful. Brittany first made a collage newsprint background, then she made her mark in acrylic paint. This was a direct inspiration from Peter Reynolds' The Dot. Spring fever was soaring, so we took a trip to the beach through art. Brittany painted a texturized 10 by 10 inch canvas in acrylic paint. Think of this piece as a customized paint by number. Rachel is 29 years old. She is in the CEC program at Madonna Learning Center. She started attending MLC when she was 13 years old. Rachel made a plate, elbow bowl, and heart bowl. This girl is the queen of elbow bowls. For this piece, the clay is rolled out on the slab roller, then draped over the wooden slump mold. The goal was to show them different techniques to use with clay. Rachel was introduced to the pottery wheel to prepare for our trip to Bell Tower Artisans. While there, they made these three pieces. For our next class, we used what we learned from our field trip. We made these pottery plates. We collaged newsprint as a class onto a board. Then each student made their mark. This was directly inspired by Peter Reynolds' book, The Dot. Rachel chose her own image to create a mosaic design. Beautiful. Spring is in the air. To the beach, we must go. I led the class in a custom paint by number acrylic seascape. Step by step, we all painted a beautiful 10 by 10 inch texturized canvas. Lindsay is 32 years old. She is in the CEC program. Lindsay started MLC when she was eight years old. Lindsay made an extra small plate, an elbow bowl, and a heart bowl. Way to go, Lindsay. The students were taught the slump mold technique with this small square bowl. While making the first two projects, Ashley put Lindsay on the pottery wheel to help prepare for Bell Tower Artesian's field trip. There, Lindsay made three pieces. It was quite an experience. They loved it. When we returned to our next class, Lindsay practiced her talents on the pottery wheel making these two plates. The Dot by Peter Reynolds inspired Lindsay to make her mark on collage newsprint and acrylic paint. Lindsay selected an image to create in a mosaic style. With the guidance of volunteers, she was able to stay within her line boundaries. Good job, Lindsay. It's getting warm. Let's head to the beach. Lindsay, along with her class, painted a 10 by 10 inch texturized acrylic seascape. 
Ethan is 21 years old. He is in the Life Centered Education Program at Madonna Learning Center. He has attended MLC for eight years. Ethan made an extra small plate, an elbow bowl, and then an extraordinary heart bowl. For this square bowl, Ethan used a slump mold. While working on the first two projects, Ethan was introduced to the pottery wheel to better prepare him for his bell tower artesian experience. An experience it was. When we returned for our next class, Ethan made pottery plates. Ethan was inspired by Peter Reynolds' book, The Dot, to make his mark, and make his mark he did. Ethan selected his image to make a mosaic art piece. With the guidance of volunteers, Ethan was able to stay within boundaries to create this image of moon and sun. Spring is in the air. To the beach, we must go. Ethan, along with his fellow classmates, did this beautiful 10 by 10 inch acrylic painting on a texturized canvas. It's very similar to a custom paint by number. As a group, we paint one section at a time. Great job, Ethan.